used to come here to get a little love. And uh, it has quite a history, and Woodland has quite a history. But like I'm trying to say, history isn't made of buildings. The buildings let us know who was here before. So we should give homage to this guy Minus. And uh, because he really, he really put this building together with some love. And I feel that love today here in Dead Cat Alley. And uh, another thing about Woodland, there's a spirit here. Now they're having a dinner on Main for 500 people. And I want to proclaim today that Dino and I are going to have a corn feed for the whole community next year. Have the farmers come, everybody's going to eat on Main Street. And we're going to have, donate what you can for the homeless. Let's bring this community together and have a dinner for everybody. Not just someone that can afford $125 a plate. That'd be $250 for me and my wife. And hey, I opened the restaurant. I can't afford it. <laughs> but we can afford to bring the farmers in. We got food rotten in the fields. Let's bring that food in, the corn, let's bring the tomatoes in next year. And let's feed everybody in this town, rich and poor. Let's bring everybody together. Because the Chicano community, the white community, the African Americans, the Indians coming to town, we all got to get together and party instead of being in different groups. Now, when this opera hall and this building, there was a building here, and Dino will give you some more history about this alley. But ever since me and Jennifer have been here, we're here at 4.30 in the morning sometimes, and it gets, uh, it gets much spooky, but you almost can feel things in the alley when you're here before dawn. And when there's nobody here, I have to admit, if I died and went to heaven, it would be Buenavir. As an artist, I'm a multimedia artist. I play saxophone, I cook, I do artwork. But I'll tell you what, just to be here and be part of this and make it come to life again, like everybody else is doing in Woodland, is a really good thing. But we've got to be careful that our town isn't taken over by three. We can't have just one or two people own our town. We're going to turn into a bunch of junk now, like Sacramento is with the gates. We've got to have diversity in our community. Diversity is what Woodland was made on in the first place, and we've got to keep the diversity in our town. It's okay to make money, but let's not be greedy. I'm not greedy. I don't want to be rich. I want a rich life. And that's what we have to maintain in our society, a rich life in Woodland. Because if we lose the rich life we have, that these guys build for us, these buildings resonated that rich life. We can't turn it into some circus for uh, the one percent. No, this this town's for the community, and these people that laid these bricks were middle class people, hard work and labor people, and that's what this town is going to represent. And we all should care, all should benefit from the beauty of this place. And I want to say one more thing, children. If we don't paint a picture in the future for our children and get them to eat good food, they're all going to be fat and stupid. And I want to tell you why. They eat hamburgers, they eat out of food trucks, they eat french fries, they drink and craft beer. And i got to tell you something. After about four craft beers, you gained about 30 pounds. I'm not against alcohol. I'm not against hamburgers. But hey, I cook organic food. And you know what? Other people are too. Let's teach our kids the color of food is beautiful. Let's teach them what to do with food. Teach them how to cook. They're on the cell phones too much. These people cared about their kids. Their kids stayed in Woodland and had kids. Her grandfather was from Woodland, she just told me. One time a lady told me that uh, her, one of her relatives built an uh, opera hall. People come by and tell me the history of this place, that their relatives were here. Well, there's new people coming to Woodland too. Let's embrace the Indians coming to town, the African Americans, everybody coming to town. And let's make this town even better than it was before.